Hello, everyone. This is our Hawaiian volcano summary for January 16th, 2025. Kilauea has resumed its eruption at its summit in Hale Ma'uma'u crater inside of Kalua Pele, the main caldera. You see here a time lapse of the KW camera as this eruption restarted from events in the southwest. And over the last 30 or, or so hours, has produced this pad of lava that's clustering in the southwest part of the crater. And as the other episodes have done, is progressing further to the east across the crater floor as we speak here. So a lot to see up in a national park, and visitation is heavy, but great views from everywhere on the east and the south sides of the caldera here. So that's the main story, is that the eruption has restarted. We have some views of the eruption released by the USGS. This is just from today, looking down into the crater here. So you see the south vent and a north vent, both high fountaining. Some of these fountains have exceeded 300 feet high in the last 24 hours. But there have also been some collapses of the vents, especially this south vent, which once the collapse occurs, blocks off some of the fountain and reduces the height of its eruption there. So a lot ongoing to see visually on a volcano. The USGS put out an alert last week uh, following the occurrence of glow on this, those same vents and the continuation of inflation and ground tilt on a volcano that had exceeded the threshold needed to restart episode two and episode three. And so due to, due to this, USGS put out this possible restart window and towards the tail end of that window, the lava fountains cooperated and returned here in the southwest. So this map from yesterday is showing just that small area of lava in the southwest thus far, as well as showing the elevation gain, which is very little in fact. It's more spreading thin across a larger area than the early eruptions in the sequence going back to 2020. There were some precursory um, deflation and inflation events that corresponded to some um, lava outputs on a crater floor, some subsidence and oozing of lava that indicated some disturbance there or possibly just overturning of a deep pool before the lava flows come and flood the area where you can now see the current gain and depth of lava on the crater floor there just since yesterday that now is at about five meters or so between 15 and 20 feet. The ground tilt has now begun to deflate at Kilauea summit, reflecting the release in pressure as this episode continues to track, while the east rift zone is also deflating um, in response as well. Earthquakes have gone down. They did climb up a little bit before this most recent episode began, but since then have been decreasing. And in locations, they've been clustered mostly around the summit as well as a south flank with very little action on either of the rift zones of Kilauea there. So we expect earthquakes to stay low as eruption continues produ producing lava. And that's really the story in Kilauea is how long will the episode last? Having seen that the first two episodes lasted about 15 hours each, the third episode lasted over eight days. And so here we are in the second day of our episode four, um, just guessing how long this might last, perhaps days as opposed to hours now. And that's a story in Kilauea. Mauna Loa continues to be quite quiet. Here are earthquakes over the last month at the volcano summit, in a typical background fashion. Earthquake rates are still quite low following the eruption in 2022. These are the last five years of earthquakes showing earthquakes per month. And you can see how low we are in Mauna Loa. However, the volcano does continue to still rise. Here is a plot of GPS at the summit showing elevation uh, rise. And you can see that the volcano is very steadily just inching its way upwards over time as magma continues to fill it and swell it up more passively. And that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.